హలో ఎవరి వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు చేతన పిక్సల్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ వీడియో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దాట్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ డైనమిక్ ఫైల్ పాత్ ఇన్ పవర్ క్వరీ సో ఇన్ టుడేస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ డైవింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ యూజ్ఫుల్ ట్రిక్స్ ఇన్ ద పవర్ క్వరీ హౌ టు క్రియేట్ డైనమిక్ ఫైల్ పాత్ లెట్ సే ఐ హ్యావ్ ఫైనాన్షియల్ స్టేట్మెంట్ విచ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ టెక్స్ట్ ఫైల్ ఫార్మేట్ హియర్ I have updated the file path here. You can see the same file is located in the folder, the financial statement. I have copied the file path from here and I have updated here. At first, we need to create a named range for this. To create named range, you can click on the name box here on the top left corner. we can give our own name i am going to give str file path and hit enter this means this cell is renamed as str file path i am going to reference this str file path in power query now go to power query you can go to data and click on get data and launch power query editor or you can press alt f12 key from your keyboard it will launch the power query window to create dynamic file path first we need to create a, a function for it so right click on the left side uh, pane go to new query click on other sources and then choose blank query and click on advanced editor and i'm going to remove all these which is already existing i'm pasting my own custom function here so this is the function that we need to use you can pause the video and observe what i'm going to do here i'm going to remove this your named range instead i'm going to give str underscore file path which i have already given in the excel click done this will extract the value from that cell into this format now i have to rename this query one fn underscore file path so now the query one is renamed to function file path in the last video we have structurized this unstructured financial statement so in order to make it this file path we have to go to advanced editor the here is the file path instead of having this much long file path now we can reference fn underscore file path the file path is replaced with the function file path now i have updated the file path here and then click done now the whole process automatically updates based on the file path click close and load now the data will be loaded based on this file path now i have moved the financial statement into new folder if i go to financial statement and try to refresh the data it will throw an error because the file path has been moved at the same time when i come back here i will get into the new folder and then select the file financial statement then click on the copy path then paste the path here now when i go here and right click and refresh it it will automatically refresh the file path so this is how we can make that file path dynamically instead of going to financial statement right click on the table and choose refresh button we can also assign as a macro to the particular shape in order to create that macro we can we have to go to alt f11 which will launch the vba editor click on insert choose module 
and if you would like to rename the module you can rename the module let's say i'm going to rename mod refresh data and we we have to create a macro using sub refresh data sheet two dot list objects here we have only one table so we are going to use the one as index dot refresh this will refresh the very first table in this sheet two so we have created a vba macro successfully finally we can create a message stating that msg box refreshed successfully vb information this is a information right so vb information close it now we have to save this as a vba macro enabled file go to save as browse i'm going to save in the same path i'm going to choose as the xlsm so for any macro enabled workbook you have to choose dot xlsm as a file extension and save it now the file has been updated with the macro and saved as macro enabled file right click on the refresh button assign macro click on refresh and then click ok now the macro is assigned to this shape whenever you click this shape it automatically updates the data so this is how you can make the excel file path dynamically using the named range in power query hope this tutorial will help you a lot in your daily work and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section see you in the next video until then bye